Okay, this is just a quick video demonstration to show you something that I've set up with my computer home automation system. Now, as you can see, we've got some blue LEDs going around the TV. That makes it look pretty cool. They also go around the window. Now, this tells me what state my computer is actually in, whether it's listening, whether it's powered down, whether it's turned off. Because if I've got my TV turned off, then I have no idea, you know, whether my commands are going to go through to my computer. And I'm actually using a smartwatch right now that I'm going to be giving the commands into. And if, like I say, the TV's off, then I have no idea whether the computer is going to receive them. So I've set up these LEDs to tell me visually, you know, what's going on. So I'm going to try and do a demonstration, even though the battery for this smartwatch is actually dying, so I'm not sure whether it's going to actually do its job. But let's give this a quick go. Computer. Pay attention. Now, as you can see, the computer has just illuminated green, which means that it's actually listening before it was in standby mode, and that's why it was blue. Now, as you can see down there, there's a little device, and you will notice it glow up from time to time. Now, that's actually sending the signal that's controlling the lights. So if I say into the watch, I'm going to say into the smartwatch, TV color blue. You can see that it set it on the computer screen, and it also made that device, you know, glow in the dark. Now I'll do another color, TV color red. And as you see, as it blinked, it controlled the lights. So let's do it again. TV color white. And as you can see, as well as the TV actually illuminating, so does the window. This is part of my security system, but I'll do another video on that anyway. But I just wanted to show you, you know, my computer changing based on the state. So if I say computer, power down. As you can see, the lights behind the TV actually change to show that it's not actually listening to me anymore. It's in a neutral mode and it's not going to do anything um, based on what I say. So if I was to say, you know, television off, nothing happens. On the other hand, if I wake it back up, computer, pay attention. As you see, the little device down there load in the dark, activated lights beyond the TV so we know it's paying attention. Now if I say television off, television off, it's just turned the TV off. Now this is what I mean, if the TV is off I have no idea what it's doing, you know, if I didn't have this set up. So before I didn't know whether it was listening to me or whether or not, you know, what it was doing. Now, with the green light on, I know that it's actually listening to me. So if I say, television on, and I keep an eye on this little device, so I'll just do that again just to make sure I'm paying attention myself. Television on. All I need to do is just basically make sure that when I issue a command, that little device goes on. Computer, television on. television on. See, this is the beauty, there we go, of actually doing things live. They don't go straight up the way according to plan. But as you can see, as long as I keep an eye on the little device down there, I know whether it sent the signal. And I know, based on the color of the lights, whether the computer is actually listening. So I can see from the window, you know, that's illuminated, whether it's listening. So if I say, um, Ignore me. It will go into a standby mode. Keep an eye on that little device down there. And it will change in a moment. Now it's because my internet connection is actually so slow at the minute why it's actually taken a little time to you know, change the colours. But basically now it's in standby mode so if I say television off nothing will happen because it's in standby mode. Now if I say computer, pay attention. 
pay attention. That little device will illuminate and the colour will change in the back and then I'll know that it's ready and listening. But quite simply I've set this up for that reason. So if you do have home automation and you've not got any visual feedback you can use this as an idea to basically you know integrate into your own home automation. Now like I say because my internet connection is real bad right now this is why there's a delay but usually this is instant when it's not being patchy. So let me show you something else. TV colour strobe. Keep an eye on this little device. TV colour strobe. And we can get it to do some cool things like this. TV colour fade. TV colour fade. As you can see, it's doing some other stuff. TV colour white. And it illuminates white in the background of a TV, which is real cool when you're watching movies. And it does the same thing for the actual window. So if I say TV colour violet, as you can see, it changes the colour in the background. And so does the window. TV colour orange. Keep an eye on that little device. And as you can see, it's done it again. Now all this is being done with a smartwatch, which I'm talking into. So, you know, if I'm actually just chilling out watching a movie or something, I can control the whole home automation system with this smartwatch which controls the TV, which controls the actual window, office lights on, office lights on, and I've not got that actually turned on right now, but basically there's all kinds of commands that I can issue when I'm doing this. So, TV color blue. As you can see, this is pretty cool. And I picked blue because I think it's a really cool color for the room when it's in neutral mode. TV color orange. And my battery on my smartwatch is about to go now. So I'm gonna wrap up this video. But I just wanted to share that with you. So if you've got any questions, go to simiantuit.co.uk, which is that website. Check out my other videos and drop me a message. Bye for now.